This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you don't think it's see man a lot of that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. Many give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the bad actors don't stop the evidence of fraud and corruption. It's just overwhelming. All you have to do every day is just open your eyes and look at the data that they release to us. And you can see the fraud and corruption. There's no way the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI is not aware of everything that's going on. I mean, for them to claim that they don't is absolutely outrageous. AMC, they're pushing the price down, yet every day there's a buying balance. Just there, there was a buying balance of AMC of 68,075. So there were 68,075 people or shares that wanted to be bought, but there was nobody selling them. 68,000, but somehow the price goes down. In what market do you have willing buyers with money in their hand and nobody willing to sell and the price of the commodity goes down? It is absolutely crazy. In my opinion, this is more evidence of the fraud and corruption in the market. And this is so obviously market manipulation i mean that's really the bottom line this is market manipulation at what point does the doj the fbi the sec step in and rein in these bad actors they need to take licenses to trade they need to indict they need to put some of them behind bars and i'm gonna tell you guys something if they do that if a few of the big dogs lose their license to trade, everybody else will fall in line. But they don't do it. And you know why they don't do it? Because these bad actors feel that they're immune from prosecution. They feel they have their get out of jail free card because of all the money that they've donated to politicians. But I think the situation is a little lot worse than that. And I'm going to go over that in another video. I think the situation is a little a, <laughs> worse than that. A little worse than that. A little worse than that. Okay? But every day we're seeing a buying balance. You know what the buying balance for GME was? 66658 Okay? So there was a $2,000 share buying balance between AMC and GME. You know what that tells me? And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell GME. But this tells me that, that the algos are manipulating the price of AMC and GME. How could the, shit, the buying balance of these two companies that have nothing to do with each other be only about 2,000 shares apart? The buying balance for GameStop, 66000 The buying balance for AMC, 68000 If I was at the SEC, if I was at the DOJ, if I was at the FBI, things like this would warrant an investigation to me. It would warrant an investigation, especially when these bad actors... <laughs> can produce millions of counterfeit shares every single day and never have to explain to us where they got the shares from. Absolutely crazy. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that AMC and GME are being manipulated by the same bad actors and that's why their buying balance is almost identical? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.